depreciation methods and examples. This is the part of the lecture where uh, it's what your homework is based on. So let's get started. The homework is going to be due at the beginning of class on July 13th. Uh, if we meet face to face, otherwise uh, it will be due before class when we meet online. So we'll find out. And as you can see, you're going to be doing straight line depreciation, double declining balance depreciation, and then also doing a T account analysis of uh, what happened in the equipment and accumulated depreciation accounts that year and reconstructing the entry for the sale of equipment during the year. So our example uh, to see how depreciation works is based on the following facts. The cost of the auto is $10,000. Its estimated life is four years. You're saying where does this estimated life come from? Uh, it's estimated based on company use and industry norms. Uh, or you can also say the estimated life is in terms of miles, in this case 100,000 miles. And at the end of 100,000 miles or four years, they think they're going to be able to, to dispose of the auto for a salvage or residual value of $2,000. Again, all of these except for the cost is an estimate that you're figuring you're going to base your depreciation calculations on. So let's figure out the depreciation expense for the first two years. Under units of production method, if we're going to um, figure out the life in miles, it's 100,000 miles. The cost is $10,000. Salvage value is 2,000. So if that's the case, 10,000 minus 2,000 is 8,000 over 100,000 miles, or 8 cents a mile, 0 0.08 cents a mile. You then take that 8 cents a mile, uh, which is your depreciation per mile, and in the first year, uh, in 2018, you drove 20,000 miles, so 8 cents times 20,000 miles is $1,600 uh, de depreciation or the debt entry. For 2019, uh, again, eight cents a mile. We drove 30,000 miles, so the debt entry is going to be for 2,400 each year, that year. Straight line is a little different. Uh, its useful life is four years instead of 100,000 miles. And so you get the amount of the cost, 10,000, minus the salvage or residual of 2,000 over four years. You're going to do your debt entry for $2,000 each year for uh, 2018 and 2019. It's 2,000 a year. Double declining balance is a little bit more complicated. And the thing to remember about double declining balance is ignore salvage until at the end of the life, don't think about salvage at the beginning. So how you compute it is you have to figure out what double the straight line rate is. And so if you, you have 100% divided by four years, that means your straight line rate is 25% per year. If you're doing double the declining balance or double the straight line rate, it's going to be 2 times 25% or the double declining balance rate is 50% of the carrying value each year. So that's where the 50% came from in 2018 and 2019. So what you do is you take the cost minus the accumulated depreciation, or the carrying value. And since it's brand new in 2018, 50% of the cost at 10000 means your debt entry is going to be $5,000 in 2018. In 2019, your cost is 10000 
but now your accumulated depreciation has a balance in it of 5,000. So that's uh, 90, that's 5,000 left is the carrying value. So 50% of $5,000 is 2,500. So you can see this is um, a very aggressive depreciation method. So that's double declining balance, but you're saying, I really want to understand this. I need more examples. So let's look at some more examples. Here's one where we have an, uh, a drilling truck. It costs $45,000. It's going to last five years or 200,000 miles, and its residual value is 7,500. So during 2011, we drove 48 thousand miles and we are going to figure out for that first second year because remember we bought it in 2010 for that second year we are going to figure out what depreciation is for straight line units of production and double declining balance so cost the pertinent facts 45,000 the life is either five years or 200,000 miles and the salvage is 7,500. So under the straight line method, the cost of 45,000 minus the salvage of 7,500 over a five year life means we're going to depreciate it, or my debt entry is going to be $7,500 a year. That means the balance in accumulated depreciation at the end of year one is 7,500. At the end of year two, accumulated depreciation has a balance of 15,000. At the end of year three, accumulated depreciation has a balance of 22,500. At the end of year four, ending balance and accumulated depreciation at 30,000. And at the end of year five, it's useful life. Accumulated depreciation is 37,500. And the salvage value is the carrying value of $7,500. So if I'm trying to figure out what the book value is, notice it's the cost minus accumulated depreciation, and that's how we get down to that salvage value at the end of year five. But each year, the debt entry is for $7,500. So it's just a way of taking that cost minus the salvage and spreading it out over five years in equal parts. Well, contrast that with units of production. Oh, we're going to do one yourself. So here's Kelly Fitness. We have a step machine, 16,500, about four year life, residual value of 1,500. What's my depreciation? Straight line. So you can do that on your own. Or you can study this example, but notice straight line, same amount of depreciation each year. And every year, my accumulated depreciation is increasing. And at the end of its useful life, notice the book value is equal to the salvage of 1500 Units of production or the production or activity method. Uh, Pertinent facts again are the cost is 45,000, the life is 200,000 miles, and the salvage is 7,500. So cost minus salvage over 200,000 miles, it's, uh, it's 18 and three quarter cents per mile. If in 2011 we drive 48,000 miles, my depreciation for 2011 will be $9,000. Every year thereafter, up until 200,000 miles are driven, will be um, that 18 and three quarter cents per mile. Here's a step machine, and notice here we have the total number of hours, useful life of 8,000, and notice if I total up 2,400 plus 2,000 plus 2,200 plus 1,400 it ties back to 8,000 hours. We cannot depreciate it above and beyond 8,000 hours because that's its useful life. Can you still use it after its useful life? Um, has 
spread out the cost of the uh, minus the salvage of the equipment. Yes, you can still use it. You just don't have a dead entry. That's all. So let's see how this works. So we figure out that it's 18 and three quarter cents per um, hour. Uh, the useful life is 8,000 hours. So what I'm going to do in the first year is because I used it 2,400 hours, 2,400 hours times a dollar and 87 and a half cents, sorry, uh, I'm going to take depreciation the first year of $4,500. And the book value then is reduced to $12,000. In the second year, uh, we use the step machine 2,000 hours times a dollar 87 and a half cents per hour uh, depreciation the dent entry for the year is 37,000 or 3,750 and accumulated depreciation increases in the third year we use it 2200 miles hours uh, times a dollar 87 and a half cents so depreciation in year three is four thousand one hundred twenty five dollars and my accumulated depreciation increases. And in the last year, I cannot depreciate it above and beyond uh, 8,000 hours. So even if I had used it 2,000 hours, I can only take 1,400 hours of depreciation. So 1,400 hours times a dollar and 87 and a half cents depreciation in year four is 2,625 for the debt entry bringing our accumulated depreciation to uh, 15,000, the cost minus the salvage. And the book value is the amount of the salvage of 1,500. And it stays that way until you dispose of that step machine because now it's fully depreciated, but still usable. When we're looking at double declining balance or 200% declining balance, how you set up the problem is very important. So again, we're to the oil drilling machine. Its book value at the beginning of year one is 45,000. Notice we do not consider the salvage until the very end of life. It's two times the straight line rate. Since this thing has a five-year life, it would be 20% a year, 100% divided by five. Two times 20% is 40%. So 45,000 times 40%. The debt entry the first year is $18,000. Accumulated depreciation at the end of year one is 18,000. And the book value at the end of year one is now cost of 45 minus accumulated depreciation of 18, giving us a book value at the end of year one or the beginning of year two of 27,000. That's why in year two, you take 27,000, the book value at the beginning of year two, times 40%. Notice the percentage stays the same. So depreciation in year two is 10,800, 40% of 27,000. Accumulated depreciation then in, is increased by that amount. So its balance is 28800 And the book value at the end of year two, cost of 45000 minus accumulated depreciation balance of 28800 means book value at the end of year two is $16,200, which is also the book value at the beginning of year three times 40% gives us depreciation expense of $6,480. Accumulated depreciation then uh, comes, rises to $35,280. And book value at the end of year three is $9,720. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We have a residual value of $7,500 which means that the book value at the end of the year, whether it's year four or year five, cannot be less than $7,500. So since I'm getting close, 
in year four, notice I'm going to plug, instead of taking 40%, of 9,720. Because under double declining balance, I can take a percentage of a smaller and smaller number and never reach zero. So sooner or later, you have to say stop. I cannot depreciate this below its salvage value or its accumulated depreciation being cost minus um, its uh, salvage of 37,500. So the depreciable base, uh, you cannot make, you got to stop at the depreciable base and you got to stop at the salvage. So uh, I'm going to back into that by saying 9,720 9, minus 7,500, which is the salvage, will give me the depreciation expense for year four which then accumulates and makes my accumulated depreciation 37,500, which is equal to the depreciable base cost minus the salvage. And the book value at the end of the year is equal to the salvage. So notice that even though this truck is to last five years, because of the aggressive depreciation methods, I had to stop depreciating at the end of year four because I could not go um, into the depreciable base or into the salvage value. So you plug at the end. Well, I think we need another one of these. So let's see the step machine. And you can try to do the step machine yourself or turn the slide. So notice again, the cost is 16,500. So that's the book value at the beginning of year one. The useful life was four years. So that would be straight line method, 25% a year, twice 25% is 50%. So 16,500 times 50% 50, 50 depreciation the first year is 8,250. Accumulated depreciation is 8,250 and book value at the end of year one is 82.50. Book value at the beginning of year two is 82.50 times twice the straight line rate or 50%. Depreciation the second year is 4,125. 4, Adding that to the previous balance in accumulated depreciation increases the depreciation, uh, accumulated depreciation to 12,375 at the end of year two and reduces the book value uh, at the end of year two to 4,125. The beginning of year three, book value at the beginning of year three is book value at the end of year two, 4,125 times 50%. Depreciation or debt entry for the year is $2,062.50, which increases your accumulated depreciation balance to $14,437.50. And the book value at the end of the year, um, cost minus accumulated depreciation, is $2,062.50. Notice that we're getting close to the salvage value of 1500 or the depreciable base of 15,000. That means in year four, we're going to plug to the salvage or plug to the depreciable base by taking the book value at the end of year three minus the salvage of 1500 gives us the depreciation in the last year of $562.50, which then makes our accumulated depreciation uh, balance in that account at the end of year four of 15,000 equal to the depreciable base and the book value at the end of year four of 1,500, which is equal to its salvage value. Notice I can keep using the step machine. I just stop depreciating it and I make no more dead entries for it until we dispose of the step machine. 
Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System, or MAKERS, is used by the IRS. It use, utilizes a combination of double declining balance, 150% declining balance, and straight line. There's a bunch of different tables and percentages, and they tell you your useful lives. They do all kinds of things. The things you need to remember about it is the IRS assumes no salvage value, and they always take a half year of depreciation in the first year of acquisition and in the last year of disposal. So this is called the half year convention and no matter when you bought it or when you dispose of it, you take a half a year. So um, there are some exceptions to this if you buy all your property plant and equipment in your fourth quarter. That's it.